body. Let's work on your sitting just for a second. Sit a little bit more on your tail and let your hips, like if you were kind of bouncing a basketball with your hips. Now lock on to that. Go a little nose to the wall and see if you can lock on to it in your sitting spot. Influence him forward. Influence him forward. Don't just stick there. That's the girl. Can you feel that? Can you straighten that and do a little bit shoulder in with your right hip? Here's the thing. Now you're tipping forward again. Get back. That's the girl. That's better. Shoulder in. Um, here, here's a conversation piece that comes with. Newsflash, ladies. We are white and we suck at rhythm. It's not good. Right? So sometimes when we're first learning how to post the trot, especially on a horse that's minimally ready in his back, right? We already agreed to stay back. Influence them. Why is he still not, why are you not in, you're just, you're just letting him bounce you there. You control the tra trajectory of his hind leg. That's the girl. Sometimes it's easier to lock on to that stride of the hind legs when you're in shoulder and your nose to the wall. Can you feel that? Can you feel how you get locked onto the rhythm better? You need to not sit unless you're concentrating on locking onto his feet. Concentrate on locking onto his feet. That's the girl. He's better in your hand there too, isn't he? Yeah, good girl. Feel the dip? Yes. Okay, now back onto the canning project. Push. I like the wrong, no, I would do it from the wrong diagonal. Good, and get it low enough that his, he has to jump through his withers. And you're gonna have to practice this a lot because what's happened is, is that he thinks he needs to yank his neck away for that canter to part and he, you need to show him that he absolutely does not. Then you're gonna revamp it and get the nose better. It wasn't awful, it wasn't great. But it's do still, it again. he's still kind of lost yep. for like 30 or 40 percent. Yeah, exactly. This is a good capacity to sit this horse. He's gonna be worth, he's gonna be worth the wait, I think. Yeah, down to it like that. Can you canter him down like that? Right, girl. Right. Your goal is that you could, that you practice this enough, that you can let soften your body, feed off of the dash, bend your right knee a lot more. Put your right leg back in his flank. Put your right leg back into his back, a better body. Now sit on your butt. Put your right leg in his flank. Stop jacking it forward. Put it in his flank. It's still not even back yet. There. Good girl. I can't see it right now. That's better. Sit on your butt, though. I say sit on your butt and you jack your heel forward like four inches. Does that make sense? Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Okay, just, another, just another opportunity to practice. Come on, we're not walking. We're not walking. We're not done. No, 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 you cheated. Uh, you let him canter when it wasn't yours. <laughs> stretchy. That makes sense. Yeah, stretchy. Can you lower his neck as he goes canter? Lower it. That wasn't lowering it. That was raising it. You tell him, I need you to lower your neck. Lower outer your neck. Lower outer your neck. Lower outer your neck. Lower outer your neck. Better idea. You're on the right track with it. You feel that? Lower outer. Push him lower outer. Push him lower out. Good girl. Good girl. You're trying. He's got the right idea, right? But he's going to take, again, I'm going to say again, this isn't something you're going to accidentally get, and then he's going to be like, oh, I totally understand what we've been talking about all this time. You're going to have to practice this a thousand times until he understands, oh, lower outer, so I have to really use my tummy and my withers in the depart. Yeah, that was close. You know what I'm talking about? Girl. Yeah, and look, there he was immediately more willing to go lower outer. Did you feel that? Canter up to that. Push him out to that lower outer. Canter up to that. Yeah, feel the difference in his tummy. Yeah. Okay, think about what your right foot's doing. And sit on your butt. Sit down. Good girl, Heidi. Good girl, Heidi. Feel it? Yeah. Get my point? Yeah, and he's way more bent around.
Well, that's probably because your right leg not jacking him in the shoulder. <laughs> Good. Go, oh, there's your trot. There's your trot. There's your trot. Good. Sit that for a second. Stay sort of shoulder in like on the circle. There's your swing. Yeah, go trot around the arena once. Sit on it. Sit down on it. Drive him out to that. Find that swing again. You're, you're behind them now in a bad way. Catch up. Catch up and push him to it. Do it in nose to the wall if it's easier for you in nose to the wall. I think it's easier for you in the, yes. Complete that stride. Make it two, two inches longer. You feel that access, Heidi? Yeah. Change rein and see if it's just that you're more coordinated with your left side than your right side, or are you more co coordinated when your nose to the wall versus shoulder in? You just tell me. That's the girl. Heidi's like, coming through, Garen. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Garen has cleared plenty of arenas <laughs> in her time. I don't think it is going to be a problem. Yeah. I think you're pretty good right now, actually, I would say. This feels good. Yeah, now go nose to the wall and see if you're as good in nose to the wall. Okay, so clearly it's your left side. Go off. It's your left side versus your right side. You Can you Lulu? Yeah, down as in that. And think down as you lift his back at the cantrip. That was an effort. Good try. Good try, Heidi. You see where you're going with that? Yeah. Then you're going to bring it back up once he gets rid of that 20% shit. Canter on, canter on, canter on, canter on, canter on. Good job. So this is about the kind of head right? I think you need more activity from your right leg to your right rein. Not more position. Part of your problem there is you're over positioning left. Can you just keep it a bit straighter? in the second half of the loop. So this is a little bit turned back towards her? Yeah, he needs to turn, but look how much you're, you're forcing him onto his right shoulder there. Do you feel that when you over position to the yeah. left? Yeah. Stop doing that. Canter. Good. Bend him right, just for fun. Push, do the loop now. Bend him right, bend him right, bend him right, bend him right. Hey, look at the balance there. Weird. <laughs> yes, straight is a thing. <laughs> yep, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's okay, you took your leg off. Yeah. No, change rain though. I just want to make sure it's the same the other way. He's almost done. Yes, he should be positioned in the direction of sit down. Sit down on your right butt and bring that right leg back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, superb. One, two, one, two, awesome. That's enough. I think you have to be just a bit less 